Well, so we went down to Ritchie Brothers at the auction and we picked up this low bed for 10 grand. Fresh paint job, fresh annual inspection. We bought a service box because service trucks are so ridiculously expensive right now that it's insane. Like 2014 Dodge pickup service trucks are going for over $100,000 with 200000 on the odometer. So pick this up for real cheap. Uh, needs a little bit of work, but it's overall not bad. So we're just going to go buy a body job and throw this on. We went and got some toolboxes. Got a few new mechanics working for us. So we got a new tool shop toolboxes. We put all the shop tools and all that in. Yeah. It's a pretty nice little low bed. This is a K-liner. Or night, technically. Back before K-line. Night turned into K-line. So it's an old night K-line low bed. Wait, you can't walk by the rectifier. Oh, we'll go over that secret later. Okay. <laughs> that's a, uh, that's something for a later day. Uh, we got these two shops. So these are 20 by 30 foot shops, canvas shops, because we don't need a building permit to build these. So we can just build these wherever we want. Two of those. We got another toolbox. Like we picked these toolboxes up for like eight hundred bucks each. Imagine like, you can't go wrong with that. Compared to what you'd spend on a snap-on toolbox or well, something. If it, that was a snap-on, that'd be a twelve, fourteen thousand dollar toolbox. So for a shop box, and then this is the big guy over here. This box weighs five thousand pounds. This is going to be the main shop for Edison for the next couple of years. Uh, it is a 40 by 80 foot, so 40 feet wide, 80 feet long, so we can fit a whole truck and trailer right inside it. 40 foot wide, so we can fit like three trucks, and hopefully we can work on like three, four trucks at the same time before we outgrow our capacity. More than enough to get us going anyways. And of course, we get some welding tables and all the rest of that good stuff. All right, and this is our other haul from the auction. We picked up a 53 foot van. What we're gonna do is cover the whole thing with solar panels, um, at least a bunch of solar panels. And we're gonna pull this around with Carl and see how much production we get. Cause we figured a side of a van has so much extra space that's just nothing, blank white walls. We'll put those solar panels on there and we will make solar powered vans. Thinking it, it makes sense because not even just for dry vans, but for things like refrigerated things. They have produce a lot of power just to cool and run giant air conditioning machines. Well, we could therefore do electric. They already may have like electric reefers, but why not use the solar power to help keep that reefer cool with a little bit of an extra diesel? We already make those solar trailers, so we might as well make one more solar trailer. But this one we're gonna power the shop off it too. It's going to cost 30 grand to hook the new shop up with like um, dual phase power, like run 220 or um, 340 volt, 360 volt power. So what we're going to do, rather than pay the 30 grand for the hookup and the interconnection, what we'll do is we'll just run the shop off the solar. When the solar trailer needs to go and do a job, we'll just run it off a little generator or the other solar trailers. Like we have so much solar and batteries around here that will literally just run the shop off of solar and batteries. Cause we estimate it's gonna cost us about 20 grand to build this. So we're $10,000 cheaper than hooking up to the utility. And then their power's free once we're there. So power the shop and build the test trailer at the same time. That's one hell of a plan. Seems like a good plan. All right. We picked this up for like $1,600. 1,700? Yeah, 1,700. 